That's a really good question. Listen, experience is the best teacher in life. I've been through some nightmares working with contractors, but here's a couple things that I learned. When you're working with contractors, your phase one working with that contractor should be a combination of getting a scope of work from them, um, making sure you're getting references from your contractor. I always like to find a contractor from somebody who's already used them that can validate them. Once you've got the scope of work and you got the references from that contractor, make sure you create a contract that binds you as well as the contract that protects you so the contractor defaults, he has some type of liability. Now, after you get done with that, then you want to work with your contractor on getting all your permits and all that stuff together so that you're on the same page as your contractor, knowing exactly what the city wants, so you don't just listen to the contractor. So you want to show your contractor that you are invested in your project and you are on top of everything. One that's going to give them a little bit more respect for you, and that's